YouTube, it's me, Jen, your pudgy picker. I'm at my office, but I actually have a stand for my camera, phone, phone, camera. And I have it mainly to periscope down on some DIYs I'm going to be doing. But I thought, what the heck, I'll use my photo backdrop and uh, see what we can do with the light and the angle. I know there's a little bit you're seeing here, but... That's okay, we're gonna just plow forward. Today is a thrift haul from Savers, half price day, which is my favorite day of the week. Um, I went, uh, was probably 10th in line. There was a lot of people in line. There are counting people to get in still, uh, which is totally understandable, but it was cold. <laughs> so waiting outside was not fun. So uh, let's jump right in and I'll show you all the goodies I got. I do have a couple things I'm gonna keep. I'll still show you and my daughter actually got out of bed and went with me and picked out some clothes and a couple pairs of shoes and a couple other items so why not I'll just show you that too because we can so uh, let's start with uh, the hard goods um, I have a few items that were in bags that I took out just to make it easier um, Let's see if I can remember maybe to do a description box. I'll have the link to how I make my hang tags uh, that I use for my antique booth for uh, price tags. So I make those out of playing cards and they had these in black and gold and white and gold. So there's four of them and it was $2.99. So $1.50 for all four. And I can usually get uh, two price tags out of one. I have a larger uh, stamp cut thing that I use now that I can get one. So not too bad. And it's nice because they're thick. They don't get torn off as easily. So that was a win-win. My daughter picked out a couple of earrings. These. She loves sunflowers. She's totally about sunflowers. So these were $1.49 or $0.75. Cents. Um, I did look, I've been looking through the purses, but if you've been watching my hauls, I haven't really been finding many purses. So uh, I did find two this week. Um, I, one is kind of, I would say, I don't think it's a wristlet. I think it's just a plain wallet. And it is a sack roots. Isn't that nice? So this is like a vinyl covered plastic, which is extremely durable. And also it doesn't get dirty. But isn't that pretty? This opens up. And it has a place for your cards. It's got the little peace sign there. And then uh, the other part unzips. And you got room plus a zippered spot there as well as one out here. So I always I always look in where there's going to be coins there. And then in here, I always look there because that's the place in a wallet that gets dirtiest the quickest. And they look good. The zippers work great. Um, and let's see. The price on this was... Four dollars, so not too bad. Um, these do really well. Sack Roots is a very good brand, um, and this one, like I said, is very clean inside and also this embroidery on the outside. So that was an easy pickup. Uh, this is a, a relic bag. It's like a very small crossbody wallet, etc. Um, here's what it looks like. It says relic, and this also is a plastic coated canvas. So on this side, it opens up. There's something in there. So that's what it looks like inside and has a place for your ID. And then on this side, it's got a zipper. Oh, I forgot they put my jewelry in here. I'm like, ooh, there's jewelry. Yeah, I picked out a few things, one to sell or one to keep and the rest to sell. So this was only $2.50. So this side has the relic detail that's a little zipper a little zipper pouch and then of course place to put your phone and goodies and then it has this handle which is in good condition basically um, if you get a couple little stray threads nothing you can really trim but it's if you notice it's got this little 
this little fuzz to it. I'm going to show you something radical. <laughs> because why not? Um, so I got some fuzz. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe. There's a little bit of fuzz on there. So what you're going to do is just... You're just going to run a little bit of this lighter on there and it will singe off any of this little yeah just be careful but it'll singe off that that makes it look kind of old so if you have you know a little bit of you know a little bit of fuzz on that that you can't necessarily trim like right there see that right there watch zoop gone <laughs> But yeah, that uh, as long as you do it in a quick fashion, that will help uh, any, you know, little leftover stringies. But I thought, you know, basically it's just in very good condition. So not sure on these. The sack root wallet could go 2025. The relic bag, maybe a little bit less than that, but not bad for 250 and four. So those are very good pickups. I always look at the wallets. I look at the purses. Uh, didn't I don't really see that much. They're still asking a lot for Vera Bradley, which nobody wants anymore. Um, even if it's in really, if it's in really, really good condition and it's got a new price tag or it looks really new and it's a cheap price, then I'll get it. But that those three things don't come together very often. I did get uh, three pieces of jewelry, as I said. This one was $2. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, so pretty. Nice big brooch with the green colors. This, oh my goodness. Someone's going to love this. These are these two are going to go on eBay. This was 275. Isn't that beautiful? Dragonfly. So when I ask to look at them, I look over them real well to make sure that there isn't any missing missing gems in there but isn't that beautiful wouldn't that look beautiful on a scarf or a coat so those two i got to sell i've been buying myself a little bit of jewelry because why not i saw this one picked it up and it was really actually quite heavy it was only two and a quarter and it's this beautiful necklace isn't that pretty with the different designs oh so I said, yeah, because I have a couple of sweaters, like gray sweaters, I think that would look beautiful with. Just very impressed with how pretty that was, and it's quite heavy. So that was a purchase for me. Another item I have managed to get for myself is this Sonoma candle. Uh, Sonoma basically is uh, Kohl's. It was only three, and it is calm. <laughs> Eucalyptus and bergamot. <sighs> It's never been burned. Sniff, sniff. Oh, it smells so good. So, mm, so that will go downstairs in my living room. So I figured that was a good price. Uh, another bag of items I got was three wallpaper borders, and they were two dollars. Now I'm not going to unwrap this. I probably will end up unwrapping one to lay it out if I can't find a stock photo of it. Um, I don't normally use stock photos, but if it comes between having to open one of these up to take a picture, and if I do that, then I'll put in the description, you know, one roll was uh, was uh, opened for pictures. But this is York, which is a very good brand. And this, it's so cute. It is animals in like hot air balloons. So, very cute. They are all three the same. They're a decent size, like a 9-inch. Um, each one has five yards, so that's more than enough to do like a little kid's room. It, it, believe it or not, wallpaper border sells way better than regular wallpaper. Um, it depends, of course, on the subject matter, and there are some brands, of course, that are better than others. This is definitely a long-tail item on eBay. It's not something that's going to fly out the door, but I could see me getting $20 to $25 for these, honestly. Um, I did manage to find two snowmen. They're so very cute. Um, I'm probably not sure if I'm going to take these out right now or not. Eh, who am I kidding? I probably will. <laughs> but he was only a dollar, all bundled up. 
but he's just a basic one. He needs a little bit of cleaning up. He's got these big buttons on front and a cute little nose. But uh, he's got a little bit of beans or something in the bottom. So when you set him down, he, you know, he stands up on his own really well. So this I would probably put like seven to eight dollars in my booth. Um, I do sell coasters again. They're not a super fast selling item, but people do pick them up. This is Coaster Stone, which is a nicer brand. They're quite heavy. And these were $1.50. I believe there is four in there. Yeah, and they got birds on them. So, yeah, there's four of them. They're square. And, oh, they're actually a different ones. So I got those two. And then that one. And then this one. So these are nice to sit there and look nice. But, of course, you got the cork. That's what you actually set the item on. Very cute. Uh, so these will probably go in my booth. I probably will look these up just to be certain that they're, you know, nothing spectacular or, or would garner a good price. Um, if they do, uh, I could put them on eBay. But if I just had to guess off the top of my head, I'd say like 8 bucks for those. And not bad for a uh, buck 50. Uh, let's see. I have bought and sold ones very similar to this. I don't know what store actually had this. Uh, it has a $12.99 on it. I paid $1.50, and it is a metal uh, horse, horse, seahorse. <laughs> I have to tell this funny story. I went to uh, the zoo with my kids when they were probably eight or nine. They had a friend with them that was a little bit older, and we were walking through the aquarium part of the Cleveland Zoo, which is nice. If you've ever, never been to the Cleveland Zoo, it's really nice. Um, we were walking through, and they had the display of the uh, the uh, seahorses, but they were the ones that their bodies kind of looked leafy, like they blend in. And <laughs> this boy, he stood back and he goes, "Those are real." <laughs> he thought that they were made up like unicorns. It was funny. I laughed. I shouldn't have, but I did. <laughs> so yeah, I found this one. It's, uh, like I said, it's metal. It's pretty heavy. So probably we'll take this off the packaging. I think it'll do better. Um, and I would say eight, eight to 10, probably eight. Um, this I'm going to use actually probably for a court cage. It might be a little too open for that. So I may use it for something else. It is this metal vase. So yeah, some of the openings are a little bit big for that. So I don't know, maybe I have all kinds of vase filler um, that I could put in here. And it was only two bucks. Again, heavy. Heavy is the item, the word of the day for items. Um, but when I first picked that up, I was like, oh, I could use it for a cork cage. Um, this is pretty cool. I will probably sell this, but I will use it for some sort of display. Um, it was only $1.50. It's this very cute galvanized tin uh, with the little handles on it. Very adorable. I like that a lot. Uh, so whenever I see stuff like that, I'll pick it up. I'll probably put a price on it and then, you know, put some stuff in it. And then, you know, if it sells, that's fine. But very cute for display. I don't like to have, I like to have things displayed in my booth that are not like boxes and rubber tins and, I mean, you know, stuff that like, you know, dish, what do you call it, like a dish pan and boxes, any of that stuff is just, ugh, baskets and metal tins, anything like that does really well and it looks much better. Oh, I forgot my other snowman. He was... Mm, he was two ninety nine, so he was a buck fifty. His sign says "Let it snow." He's got a teddy bear, Annabelle. Isn't he adorable? Love these little star buttons. His hand looks like it's coming a little off of his body, so I may have to put a little spot of glue there. But isn't he adorable? And I didn't notice this till I took him out of the bag. He's new with tag. This is Darice, which is a, uh, a craft supplier in Ohio, and you see this at a lot of the craft stores. Uh, so I don't know how much he was originally, because it doesn't say, but his nose is a little, it's a little, it's a little odd. That's okay. Look at the pine cones on his hat. Oh, so cute. 
So for a buck fifty, very easy pickup. He'll go for ten to twelve. Uh, I may take him in and hang on to him, and then if he doesn't sell this season, then I'll probably just go ahead and bring him home, and he can go out next year. Um, I did get some fabric, uh, but before I do that, I'm going to show you some of the items my daughter got. She's been taking a lot of pictures and having them developed. Imagine that. <laughs> so she saw this this little uh, photo album for $0.99, cents, $0.50. Cents. So I picked that up. Um, I've said this a million times. She has a v uh, video recorder, VHS, so she does buy VHS tapes. So these tapes were only $0.50 cents each. One is one she has been looking for. This one is the Harry Potter. The one she's really looking for is by an animator she loves. And it is Kiki's Delivery Service. I recognize the uh, the film and the artist who did this. Um, I can't think of what year this is. Uh, I don't know. But she was so happy to find this for 50 cents. Now, I did get two games. One is kind of like a, a science kit. And one is an actual game. I tried to look the science kit up, kit up in the store, but I couldn't find anything. And I was like, for the price it is, just grab it, put it in your cart, and go. It was only a dollar. It's this little hovercraft kit. It is still sealed. It has all the pieces, parts that you put it together. This would be awesome for somebody who is has their kids home if they're still schooling from home. So this would be a really cool project, ages 8 and up. A dollar, so not sure how much it'll go for, but I mean, if I had to guess off the top of my head, at least 10 to 12, if not more. But uh, for a dollar, I looked it up. I spend, when it's that price, I spend uh, like 30 seconds looking. I did the code, nothing came up. I look under sold, nothing came up. And I'm like, at this point, if it's under two to three dollars, just throw it in the cart. We'll figure it out later. So that's what I did on that. This other item I did look up, and it was coming up $25 to $40. Um, I, my daughter laughed because she used to love this book series, Animorph, the Invisible Game, the Invasion Game. It is still sealed. It was $3.50, and there's what it looks like, upside down. So I did use the barcode and did look this up on the eBay app. If anybody's wondering, what are you looking that up on? Yeah, the eBay app and, uh, like I said, 25 to 40 So when I saw that, I didn't even bother to look and see, oh, is that new? Is it used? I'm like, that'll work for $3.50. Let's do it. So that's what I did. Show you my fabric, and then I'll show you clothes and shoes. Oh, this item. This item is so cool. Saw it behind the counter. They had it by the jewelry, which they have a lot of their higher-end stuff. But I saw this, and I was like, I have to have it. So it is this little walking stick. It's a little taller than a cane. It's got this little bottom on it. So I knew it was older. This It's really, really sanded, but it does feel like real wood. But look at the top. ha <laughs> ha! It's got a doorknob. Isn't that awesome? So this is a glass doorknob. It was only $5. So I'm not sure how much I'm going to ask for this. I probably will just take this into my booth. I have an umbrella stand that I put in. Umbrellas and canes and walking sticks and that type of thing. But off the top of my head, I am thinking probably 20 to 25 on this. Probably closer to 25 but very happy with that. Uh, yeah, very, very cool object. And surprisingly, this is pretty strong for being as thin as, as it is. Uh, you'd think leading on it. Um, I mean, depending on if you're going to use this for decoration, probably would be better. But, uh, it is, uh, pretty sturdy and it's for us taller people. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Um, so I got some fabric. Uh, one piece did not have a price on it, and she ended up just, uh, the manager said, I said, oh, this one doesn't have a price. They know I buy fabric almost every time I'm in there. And the manager just said, just just run a new an another tag through. I don't care. So I got this green one. There's probably about two yards, a yard and a half on here. It was only a dollar. I believe this, no, 
It wasn't this one that wasn't didn't have a price. It was this one. This purpley one did not have a price. So she ran it through at a dollar. There's probably two yards on here. Um, if you buy and sell fabric, keep in mind, don't shy away from the uh, solid colors. A lot of people are like, oh, that's not really interesting. People still need solid colors, especially if they're quilting or need a back on something. So don't poo-poo that. This one's kind of a grayish purple. It was also a dollar. There's that one. This one looks almost like a granite countertop or some kind of, you know, formica, I guess you could say. There's that one. It was also only a dollar. So there's that one in the grays. Uh, this one's nice and cheerful. It's this yellow one. And it was also a dollar. This one is so pretty. And it's got snowflakes on it. It doesn't appear to have any kind of sparkle or anything. Nope. Um, it was a dollar fifty, but it's uh, this gray and white snowflakes. And then this one I had to look at, and then I finally decided I believe it is strawberries. Does that look like strawberries to you? It looks like strawberries to me. And that one was a dollar. So I sell my fabric again for three dollars a yard. So I will wrap that up. Uh, I bundle it up in little rolls and tie it up and price it and out it goes. Fabric is still doing well. It's not quite flying off the shelves as it was when all the mask stuff was going on. Uh, people are still making masks, but um, I have people who have bought fabric from me for a while who are like, I'm glad that people are buying less fabric to make masks because I use I do use them for crafts and it's hard to find. So. I have people that come back for me regularly for the fabric. So, nice little stack today for not too bad of a price. Okay, the clothes that I have today, a couple of these, like I said, are for my daughter, but they're cute. One she picked out, and she's like, if I don't like it, can you can you sell it? And I said, what brand is it? And she told me, and I said, no, but I could make uh, pumpkins out of the sleeves, sweater pumpkins for next year. <laughs> so, yeah. So this one, woof, oh, it's an Eddie Bauer, that's why. Whoa, I would not have bought this for resale, just giving you a heads up. So that was $6 half price, but it's pretty. So that's for her. She's like, she's a freeze baby, so she's definitely uh, cold all the time. Um, this one I am actually selling. Again, the price was a little, ugh, but... It's in very good condition. It has no pilling. Someone asked me what pilling is. I don't think I answered it yet. I'm a little bit behind on answering my questions. Um, if you have clothes that, like, you, you know, they get rubbed on or under the arms or in the back where you sit and get in and out of your car, you'll feel it feels like little bumps. It's actually the threads balling up, and they look like little, well, little pills, or just little balls and they have people will use like a clothes shaver um, to get that off I usually don't buy stuff if it has that uh, unless it's really a good name brand or it's a, a certain size that I think will do well but yeah clothes shaver so that's what pilling is you can get it on clothes you can get it on coats you can get it on sheets um, all kinds of things will have pilling um, so usually I don't show it because I usually don't buy things that have it but this uh, is in such nice condition. It's The colors are really bright. It doesn't even appear it's ever been worn. 550, it is a Torrid, it is a four. So that's another reason I was thinking. It's a pretty decent size, uh, so people will be looking for it. So it's just this basic uh, V-neck with a little bit of this stretch here in the front. So that will be put on my eBay store. Um, this one is really cute. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. It might be too big, but for the price, it was a dollar and a quarter. Easy decision. So I might try it on, and if it fits, I have a pink shirt. This is a pink shirt. This, I just love the color. It's such a vibrant, pretty pink. Um, this is one I was going to sell. I went to photograph it and tried it on and said, mm, keeping it. So you probably remember this shirt from a past haul. But this one is a woman within. Again, no pilling, very good condition, no stretchy. It's just a basic t-shirt with a little bit of flair. It was a 1X and short sleeve. And it's got this little uh, pleated design on the front. And it's a little bit long. It's like a tunic. Isn't that cute? 
so maybe I'll keep it. Um, Woman Within stuff does run a little bit big, so I'll have to try it on to see if it'll fit. But I thought that was cute, and for a dollar and a quarter, even if I end up not keeping it, this will go for probably, I'd say, 10 to $12 on eBay easily. Another item I got for sale is this Avenue Top. It is a 2628. It's just kind of a basic fuchsia pink with a little bit of this this uh, metal stud detailing on the round neck. There's what it looks like. It is three quarter sleeves. Nothing crazy fancy, but you know, everyday clothes. 375 on that one. I think these last two are my daughter's. This one was uh, $3.75. It is a Style and Company sweater. Here's what that looks like. She liked it. She's a stripe person. Don't know where she got that from. My husband was a... He wore plaid for years when I met him and married him. He was a plaid guy. Now he's a stripe guy. So maybe it does come from him. I don't know. So that one. And then this one is the one she said, if I don't like it or it doesn't fit... Um, it's a Croft and Barrow, so it's not necessarily, a, you know, anything crazy good. Buck fifty, but it's this cable knit sweater. But it has great sleeves to make pumpkins. Let's see, I don't know, maybe I'll do a tutorial on that. I have been making some things for next fall that I will show you when I pull them out next year. But there's that. Um, and this top is a Lane Bryant. 22.24. It was 3.50, and these are highly, highly pigmented. So if you ever buy anything like this in the store, wash it, and then wash it again, and then wash it again, and then wash it again. Because if you have something in a darker color and you take you take it off, you will think you're dying. <laughs> take it from me. I bought a couple shirts. This is probably three, four years ago. I got them from Walmart. In fact, when I saw this, I was thinking, oh, that's a Walmart shirt. But no, it's a Lane Bryant. They're very highly pigmented. I washed it, wore it, and I took it off, and it looked like I was still wearing it. Horrendous. Now, you can tell by looking at the seams. This is one that you, if you see ones like this, you know. You've seen these. They are highly pigmented. This one, I think, should be fine. Uh, considering it is used, it's probably been washed. Uh, I don't know how many times because it's in pretty good condition, but it's just a basic pink short sleeve top with this little uh, this little cutout detail in the back. Not too bad for three fifty. And then the last item is a dress my daughter got, and when she picked this out, she goes, "What do you think?" I went, "I didn't think you'd pick that out," but she likes it. She likes the color. It is a little long on her. She's not as tall as her mother. So I think she said, it's got a couple ruffles. She's going to take one of the ruffles off. I think I'll take one of the ruffles off. <laughs> Simply B. Never heard of it. So that was, what, $5.75? Here's what it looks like. Doesn't that look kind of old-fashioned? And it's got <clears throat> these long sleeves. And then it has these... The different layers, like the, like I said, she's probably going to take this bottom one off just because she's like, I don't think I'm tall enough to pull that off. So the last two items I'm going to show you, one is she's keeping, one she doesn't think they're going to fit, but she wants to resell them if they don't. So I told her uh, if you can clean them up a little, they're pretty clean. But when she showed me the price, I was like, Ugh, I'm such a cheapskate, I swear. So these were $13.99, so they were seven. But these are Vans. Uh, Vans uh, have a good resale value. I don't really mess with shoes too much, but I know Vans, and my daughter likes Vans. Here's what they look like. I mean, they're in really good condition. And even the bottoms, they don't even look like they had much wear on them. So I told her, I said, clean them up the best you can. They're a nine to nine and a half, I think it says. So my daughter has bigger feet like me. She has a 10. And these say 9. These are not 9 to 9 and a half. So these probably will not fit her. So she's going to clean them up real good. And then we will put these on eBay. I don't know how much because I don't mess with shoes too much. And then these, she laughed. She goes, these are a Kmart brand. But she wants to relace them with something different. 
yeah, they're Route 99 or 9, yeah, Route, no, Route 66. <laughs> I was looking at it upside down. Uh, oh, these were $16.99. This girl's killing me. Um, these are size 11, so she thinks they're going to fit. They were $8.50. Holy Toledo. So she's going to redo the laces, but she's got like three pairs of boots now. And they're all for show, not for blow, as my dad used to say. In other words, they look cute, but don't try walking through a snowdrift at them because they'll fall apart. So I believe that is all that I got today. So what was your favorite item? What uh, item would you have definitely have snatched up? And which item would you have left it where it was sitting? So please let me know down in the comments. Um, I have some cool things coming up. I'm going to be doing some DIYs because I have this cool armature you can't see because you were mounted on it. I'm going to be doing some DIYs. And I also have a big uh, Pudgy Picker announcement coming up too, which is really cool. Something that's been in the works and in my brain for a couple of years, but we're going to make it happen. So I will let you know about that. I'll leave you with that cliffhanger. So please uh, like, comment, subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that notification bell so that if I upload or have a community post or go live, which I'm going to do one of these days, I swear, <laughs> uh, you will be notified right away and you can jump on in and take a look before everyone else. Be first. Don't get left out. Also down in the description box is my, U my eBay store as well as links to uh, Antique Booth Talk, which is a closed Facebook group. If you have a spot in an antique mall, and want some ideas or want to, you know, look and see what everybody else is doing. There's a lot of people over there. It's been growing a lot and it's really fun. It's, it's really cool to look through and see everybody else's idea. Or if you want to critique on something, it's definitely uh, worth looking into. So that's it. That's all. I will see you guys next time. And until then, happy picking. Bye.